So the niece, the niece of the dist has just <laughs> left. Well, that's a mouthful. How are you yeah. feeling? So I'm in my room fit fab. Today is the day of my surgery. And if you don't know what I'm in here for, we have actually made a video recently, which you can check out, but I'm going to be having another fat transfer. And also I'm going to be having a lump removed out of my breast. So this is the room where I get to hang out afterwards. Yeah, I'll do a room tour. Ready? Do you want a room tour? Over here I have the TV where I can watch daytime TV today and brain what myself. No, obviously I'm gonna put, I, I know I need to put on island boys, shouldn't I? That'll cheer me up. And then here I have my hospital bed. This is the all new 2024 recliner. It goes up and down. I'm not gonna mess around with it because I'll probably get in trouble. Then we have the tray, the food tray. Wheelie tray. Wheelie <laughs> tray. And then here I've been gifted, oh, look, they've gifted me this lovely waffle dressing gown with some nice little grippy socks, which I normally feel like these are for toddlers, aren't they? I've got a little measurer there, some little undies. <gasps> And then my lovely little stylish gown, I'm loving it. I've got some a little cupboard here to put my coat in. Some meshy artwork. Is that where people, is that like a two-way mirror or what is that? No. Some little musical instruments. A sink. And then in here, I've got a secret room for this one. Secret. Don't tell anyone. It's actually just the toilet. And this is offensive waste. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Yeah, I, I know I'm being a bit silly fist fan, but underneath it all, I do feel like really like nervous and giddyish. Like, no, as I'm filming, I'm like, this is a good coping measure. Like, why yeah, not start yeah. it with joy? It's good. Now everything is going to be fine. This is obviously like a really positive surgery in a way because like I'm healthy and you know I'm I'm choosing to do this, but I do often naturally feel nervous because um, what it is. I just hate the feeling of not being in, in control. And when you go into the operating theater and then I have the anesthesia, I just feel so nervous before. Like, I just hate that feeling. But then you literally go to sleep and then you wake up. It's like you've never been like asleep. Yeah, when I said the anesthetist has just left, by the way, I meant just chatting. She hasn't had the anesthetic. No, no, uh, what's going to happen now is this, I'm going to meet the surgeon again. I'm going to speak to him. I, obviously, I've met him before, but he, we're going to go through everything again. And then I'm probably gonna go into the anesthesia room and his job is very important because he's gotta make sure he gives me the right amount and I'm gonna be healthy and then he's gonna monitor me all throughout. And then obviously the surgeon's gonna do his job and then I'm gonna wake up and then I'm gonna spend the rest of the day recovering in here. That's the plan, Stan. And Dan's It's, it's kind of crazy how it's all gonna happen in one day. I, I don't know. know, it just seems really, really crazy. But yeah, it means it's not gonna be as much like of an impact on your body no. and stuff, doesn't it? Yes. So you'll be able to recover nice and quickly. Yeah, and um, I said goodbye to Karen Karma this morning. I didn't get to say goodbye to Sienna because she was still asleep. Karen Karma woke up as soon as I did. And they're getting looked after really well, but later on, Darren might be coming back with Sienna, won't you, to come and visit me yeah. in the day. Yeah. Um, Mia's not going to be coming because she's skiing and she said she felt so bad for skiing, but I told her don't worry about it. Like, so it's fine. So if you wonder where Mia is, she's probably currently hitting the slopes right now. So I'm being so cheesy, aren't I? Oh. Thanks, Sam. Do you feel nervous? It's fine. Because you, cause you how, seem really calm. How do you really feel, though? That's, that's, I, I know you're, like, yeah. putting on a brave face and everything, but do you feel okay? Yeah. Yeah. I feel Good. a lot better than last time because you couldn't come to the hospital with me last time. Like, yeah. you weren't allowed anybody in. That yeah. felt... That didn't feel nice. And we had a lovely walk on the way here, didn't we? Yeah. Really nice. It's still pitch black, by the way, look. Pitch black outside, but we had a yeah. really nice long walk to get here, so... Got up super early so we could walk here rather than taxi, and then it's like you've had loads of fresh air. Yeah, yeah. I've got to order my food actually for the day. This is so cool. You can choose a small meal portion or a large meal portion. Quite clearly, I'm going to choose the large meal. <laughs> the, the, the whole family laugh at me because I you can. Might not feel I can like pack it, it away, though. guys. You might not feel like it, but I guess yeah. At least there's you vegetable have soup, and I can even get a whole meal roll. This is amazing. I'm gonna get soup and that, that sounds really nice, isn't it? Oh, and look in the back, you can get fresh fruit salad or fruit jelly. Look, <gasps> soy milk, I'm so happy about that. I am, so, I honestly, it's made my day. I'm gonna put tea and then soy milk for that. Just by the way, Georgie hasn't been allowed to eat or drink anything. The eating one is kind of bearable, but the, the drinking one is pretty extreme. So you haven't had anything to drink literally <laughs> since yesterday about 6 p.m., have you? 
That is probably why I'm like writing, like I'm like, sorry for this, I'm just like going looking at the food. <laughs> no, it feels really weird though, not being able to drink anything. Usually I don't eat breakfast as soon as I wake up anyway. And when you feel nervous, you just don't feel like eating. But water, I really feel like my mouth is really dry and that, and my voice feels a bit shaky. Can you tell it's gone all shaky? Yeah. But yeah, we're just waiting now, aren't we? And um, you're going to come and watch, aren't you? No. <laughs> I keep teasing, he hates no, I'm not. that. No, I, I mean, I, I did, gross, I looked so. after you last time, so it's not, I can, I can, I can look after you afterwards, but I don't want to watch. No, I don't no. think those. I don't think. I think with husband and wife, there's some things that you shouldn't see, and I don't yeah, think you obviously. should see that. Yeah. <laughs> Still time for a selfie, even in hospital. Yeah. <laughs> it's good for the memories, though. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Documenting everything. But see, I can. Re this was like two years ago when Georgie last did this, and I can remember. So I obviously wasn't able to be with you. I wasn't allowed to. Was I not allowed or? Well, you weren't. I can't remember what it was. Only one it was too far away. No, 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 it's because you couldn't bring anyone else in the hospital. You weren't oh, allowed visitors or right. guests. So even if yeah, you were giving birth, thought. you weren't yeah. allowed anybody. So right. Yeah, yeah. remember. Yeah, that I'm remembering part. now because the this uh, Georgie sent me the photo, but now I'm like here yeah. as well. You're here. I'm so glad yeah, you're here. It's now. nice that I get to be here with you. Yeah, I feel like you, you should what? probably put that bottle of water out of the way. You well, know, like when there's something you're not allowed and you have it right in front of you. Well, I thought I won't be able to reach over and get it, but then I remember that you're going to be here. Yeah. Apparently, it's something to do with like the anaesthetist doesn't want Georgie to eat or, or anyone who's about to have anaesthetic to eat or drink in case you like vomit from the anaesthetic. So I do get it. Yeah, because it could be you could choke, couldn't you? Yeah. I have actually just spoken to him. He came in. And he um, said, he, he basically said, are you feeling a bit nervous? I said, yeah. So he said, he's going to give me something to relax me yeah. beforehand, rather than giving you straight away the anaesthetic to make it nice and easy. So We've he's really considerate. Yeah, I got this on. Now, yeah, look. These are compression socks. So this helps with your blood flow and it stops. I think the main thing is to stop blood clots, but it's really good for your lymphatic system. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and then grippy socks to obviously help keep you warm, which is really nice. I like that touch because in bed, sometimes I love going to bed in winter with socks on. So even if you have to have a pair of socks on, like bed socks. I'm the complete opposite. <laughs> Any time of the year, if I put socks on, I'm gonna sweat in bed. Oh. I don't know how you do it. Oh, it's so comfortable. And then I've got the gown, which I am not gonna spin around. I won't do that. Yeah, it, it kind of doesn't have a back. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah. And the surgeon, I just met him as well. He's going to come back in later, but he's got a lot of people to deal with this morning, so he's really busy. So we're going to be waiting around for one hour, which kind of feels like I want to get started. But at the same time, it's nice, Darren, that we get to have a bit of quiet time together. Yeah. No, we're like, whoa, what do we do with ourselves? This is the thing I'm really noticing now how people bond over food and drink because I, I'm just instinctively like, should we have something to eat together then? Or shall we have a drink together? Yeah. But <laughs> just a waiting game. Yeah, right. <sighs> yeah. Just putting my tape on my ears to cover the piercings. Ah, now it's time. It's time to go in now. So see you later, Darren. Love you. Love you. See you in a bit. Oh, okay then. It should be over quite quickly, yeah. I think. Yeah. All right, then. All right, so I'll, I'll go and get some things and then okay. I'll see you in like an hour and a half okay, or something. Yeah. Right. This feels real now. See you in a bit, George. Oh, 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 love you. Got back in the room after going out and getting some things for Georgie for when she wakes up. But there's no bed in here now, so they obviously came and got the bed, which like makes it all a lot more kind of real, doesn't it? Because obviously she's been putting on a really brave face through this and um, you know, it is a voluntary pr procedure which she wants to do, but still it's like, it is serious to go and get surgery. So I know obviously she'll be completely fine, but I tried to have breakfast myself while I was out and I just feel like, I don't know, too worried to feel like I want to eat, but I've got her some, things for when she comes back in anyway. So it's now been just over an hour since she went in. So they said it will probably only take about an hour and a half. So we shall see, hopefully she comes back soon. Sienna sent me a message. I think even she's probably wondering where mum is by now, because it's actually been over three and a half hours. I mean, it's, yeah, like approaching four hours since she went in. So not since we got to the hospital since she went in. So I guess she must just be having an amazing sleep because um, 
I assume you don't immediately wake up when the sedation wears off. I guess it's still whenever you naturally wake up. So yeah, um, I've let Sienna know that we should hopefully be home by dinner time. But um, yeah, I don't know whether they wake her up after she's been asleep for a long time or what. I don't know. But yeah, I'm still waiting and I keep like every noise that I hear. I'm just like, is that her? And then it hasn't been yet. Sienna has just replied. Hello, that's great to hear. I just went out for a little walk. Um, I went to the library and that because I just went to get out, get some fresh air, you know? And now my face is so cold. But um, that's good that Mum's all out and that's nice that she has like nice healthy food to come out with. And um, yeah, we're all okay. Um, we had lunch like an hour and a half ago or something. Yeah, about 12. And um, everything's good and the babies. We've had a few little tantrums, but everything's been going good, and I can't wait to see Mum again. And hope she's hope she's doing well. And love you. Bye. Oh. I was trying to do the whole brave face thing, wasn't I? I'm like, I'm not going to go and ask anyone, otherwise it's saying that I'm worried. But I, it's been four hours, I'm worried, all right? Um, so yeah, I just went and asked and I said, is she going to be brought back in here when she wakes up? Do I just carry on waiting in here? And he said, yeah, that wasn't like the, you know, the doctor or the anaesthetist or anything. It was just the person who um, first gave Georgie her like gown and stuff to put on so I guess he still knows what's going on so yeah I've got to carry on waiting and, and she will be coming back in here. Okay. Yeah, it's just that her blood pressure's on the low side, so that's why she's staying with us for okay. a little bit. Okay. Just want to eat. Mate, in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've got your lots of goodies. Thank you. Oh, it's nice to see you. Yeah, soon. Thank you so okay. much. Okay, no worries. Do you feel faint? No, I, I did. When I was in recovery, I felt sick and I felt faint. But now that's yeah. stopped. Yeah. I had to really, like, breathe through it and just, like, get a control on it. But all I'm feeling right now is just the most intense breathing. Oh, right, yeah. It feels yeah. so yeah. tender. But I'm so happy to be awake now. And yeah. It was literally like I had just gone to sleep and then woke up almost immediately. I was um, telling the Fizz fam just like, because have you seen the time? Yeah, happened. yeah, you have been gone ages. Wow. Like I was kind of starting to worry a little oh, bit. Oh. Not not in terms of like something's gone wrong, but just like I don't know, just thinking about the children being in the babysitter and that type of thing. And I was like, oh no, is time going to go on too long? Am I going to have to leave? Yeah. But none of that's happened. So, yeah, that's so good. So it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But I, don't, I I couldn't go home right now though. I I know you're not saying that, yeah. and I, I know they wouldn't let me by. <laughs> So bruised. Yeah. It's so tender. Oh, the donor sites. I don't know if it's because I haven't got enough of the pain relief or what, but it feels so soft. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he said that because you haven't got enough to get anything. Yeah. From. He did say that was going to happen, and it really does feel uncomfortable. Yeah. So I feel like nobody can jump on me for a few days. Have you still not had anything to drink? No, but I've been, I think when you have the... Oh, you're on a drip. Yeah, so yeah. that has given me it. But when my blood pressure was going low, I had a feeling it was because I haven't eaten anything. And I did try to say, I said, I think it might be because I haven't eaten anything. Yeah, I mean, you're it's like coming up for 24 hours without yeah. eating and had surgery. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah. Do you want me to... Like, feed you? Um, but you probably need to I, sit I, up, th I think I'm going to wait till they come back in because yeah. I think they're giving me some oxygen and some other things. Okay. But thank you. Well, I'm happy that you're back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's thank nice you. that you're back because me and the Fizz fam were, it's not worrying, were we? But we were like oh. nearly worrying, weren't we? <laughs> I feel fine, but I've just got a lot of healing to do now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I'm very good with pain. Like, I don't, whenever I've had surgery before, I felt nothing afterwards. This yeah. time. I can feel it. So that's a, it's a little bit concerning, but maybe I should just ask for some more pain relief. Yeah. For making me feel too overwhelmed. I think maybe it isn't the pain. I think it's the idea that I'm going to have to like... Move. Move with yeah. it, yeah. Well, I mean, I could always leave 
and come back with the kids in the car and then you can stay in here longer. Yeah. Yeah? Because then you don't have to have that worry of like you've got to quickly get up. Yeah. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. I'm acting weird, aren't I? No, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. That was, uh, when did you like come back around? Maybe like an hour anyway. ago. Right. So I can't imagine what that would feel like. But imagine like it was weird because i feel really I disassociated like having some kind of weird dream or something and there's like when i i don't know it was so weird right yeah but as i went to sleep i was like i love darren i love me i love sienna i was saying that and yeah, like i was right. like gonna burst like crying <laughs> i think it's because the things were kicking in yeah so i was like probably high as a kite and like, <laughs> it made me really relaxed and yeah. it made me feel good yeah because i was quite scared being in there because it's just such an unnatural feeling yeah. Like it's such a weird environment, it's very strange. And under the bright lights. And yeah, it was yeah. so strange, but I just kept staying calm. So I was like, if you get nervous and get yourself whacked up, it's not going to help. Like your body's not, your body needs to be in a nice state, so. Yeah. The lady just <laughs> left and Georgie's going to have some IV paracetamol, aren't you? Yeah. She's in a lot of pain. Yeah, it does feel... You know, like I'm not gonna try and be brave and not have any. It's like any times I haven't had it, it's because I haven't needed it. But I do feel like I need it now. Yeah. I think that'll probably make me feel more mentally prepared for to going home. Yeah. And then I can slowly ease out of it. I don't all. think there's a rush anywhere. I feel like you can stay here to the evening if you need to, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. But what I mean is, I don't want. I want to feel like for the evening time. Yeah. Do you know. Yeah. What I'm, yeah. I've got I don't you. even know what I'm saying. Well, when you're ready, I've got you. I mean, this is so many hours ago that I got this. But I've got you an acai bowl and uh, coconut water. Uh, and and did you speak to the surgeon? Did he tell you the news? Yeah, just before you came back in, he did pop in and just say, you're fine mm -hmm. and um, everything well, went he, well. He spoke to me, I can't remember all the fine details, but he actually said from all the donor sites, he was actually managed, He was able to get a little bit more than he expected. Okay. Which I knew, I, last time I had the fat transfer, he had the same apprehension about it all. And I said, I think I've got a little bit more than you think. And then he actually said this time there was a little bit I feel bit like more. that's just professionalism, like under promise over deliver, isn't and it? And also maybe he can't feel my body and he doesn't know my body as good as, nobody knows your body as yeah. good as you do. Yeah. So I think that, that that's good news. He said I've gone up three quarters of a cup. Yeah, I mean, so. that's never the intention no, no, anyway, no, no, though, but, was it? So. But no, but that just gives some kind of idea of how much of the fat transfer. Right. So th that's that's good news. So he didn't mention about the, the oil cyst removal. He didn't mention that. Oh, he, he said that to me. He said, like, they he removed it fine and he said it was small i don't know why because you said it felt really big it felt but so big yeah so Honestly. i don't know if somehow like if i don't know but anyway he said it's gone and he said that he put more on your right side to, yeah i heard that you know account yeah. for that i heard two people discussing how many milliliters have gone on one side compared to the other yeah so it's good that i have had the fat transfer because i would have had uneven you know uneven shape and also you know i i feel like that was a good decision. Yeah. Even though right now I'm like, wow, this is intense. Yeah. Well, anyway, I hope that this is Thank you. all this stuff over Thank you so forever much. now and you yeah. never have to do these well, no. things again. No, I but I mean, I guess the moral of the story is like, to be, to be honest, there is no moral of the story because when you make decisions when you're like 20 years old or whatever, such as getting breast implants, you never know how you're going to feel when you're 35, do yeah. you? So you never know how you're going to, yeah. you don't know how much you're going to change. You can't, you, yeah. you, you can't even like say to young people, like, don't do something. I think some people might take notice of that, but most people yeah. have to have their own experiences really, don't and they? Usually with interventions or, you know, like when you, I call it, I'm going to call it having surgery and intervention. Yeah. It usually can then cause a series of more that you need. Yeah. So you have to bear that in mind. Like well, I mean, you're upsetting the natural balance. So then yeah. obviously, if you upset the natural balance, there might be other things. Yeah. Anyway, speaking but of natural balance. I am going to get back to normal fizz yeah. farm. I am going to be back to basically hyper Georgie. So I feel like any of you watching this, if you feel a little bit concerned about me, maybe the contrast of how normally I'm so hyper to this might seem like something's wrong with me, but there, there isn't. My body's just healing and I do feel fine. So don't worry about me if anyone's watching. Cause last time when I had the surgery, when Sienna heard me talking, 
she was really worried about me, wasn't she? Yeah. You don't sound the same as last time. Sienna has sent a message. She said everything's fine. Nice. Um, but then she just wants to know when you're going to be back in an update. Oh, bless so her. So I got you like a whole pharmacy in here. <laughs> I got you some Altrian, like I said, ah, with I got you some seawater nasal spray. Yeah, because I've had a tube down my I got throat. you some of this spring water mm. facial spray. Mm. And then I also got you. I'm lucky. I don't know where that camera's pointing at. I think Hello. I, you're in. I'm it. there now. I also got you some of that Simpro stuff wow. that we had last time, you know, the probiotic nice. stuff. Yeah, so they actually had all these things. I had to go to a couple of chemists, but they actually had them all in there. Oh, that's good. The only other thing I was asking for in my magic like box of tricks was colloidal silver, but none of them had it. But anyway, there's your Thank you. All your things. Do you Sorry want, if I don't do you want any of them now or no? Not yet. Just wait one minute, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Every fee I'm just like just wait one minute. Just yeah. another minute. I don't want to bombard you, but at the same time, um, do you want to like watch a YouTube video or something so yeah. you're a bit distracted? Yeah, I think actually. That would I be feel right. like you probably just want me to shut up. I, 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 no, I want to listen. <laughs> which I completely understand. No, no, understand. I want to listen to you, but I just can't be bothered to talk, which is okay. very rare. It's okay. normally I want to just go on and on to you, isn't it? It's the opposite right now. But that's a good sign because it means your body wants to rest and recover. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. Thank you for getting all of these, honestly. Sorry? And that, I'm kind of drooling at it right now. I need to try and sit up a little bit more, I think. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, you stay here and rest. See you later. See Send you. Send my love to all the kitties. See you in a few hours or something. Yeah. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll come back and pick you up. Okay, right? then thank you. All right. See you later. Love you, bye. It's just me and you now, Fizzbell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you with the camera. Uh, if thank you. Want. you. I feel a bit sad now Darren's gone, but I do really want him to go back home and check on how the kids are getting on because they're probably going to miss him. We've heard that they've been having a really good time though, so that's good. And they've been having a fun day. Um, and when I left this morning, they seemed fine. I just said I had an appointment because I didn't want them to worry. Oh, if you're wondering what's going on in my nose this is pure oxygen so this is like fresh air it's really nice actually it's, I think it really helps you breathe properly afterwards but then also oxygen is really good for healing so that's nice and I'm feeling loads better now definitely when I came out it did feel I felt so sick and weak and not very I felt very emotional and like I wanted to cry but now I feel a load like loads better I think it's just a bit of a shock on the body and you know you've, the build up to it as well all the nerves and everything just wanted to come out uh, but I feel really good now. I don't feel sick anymore. I finished my acai bowl and I'm now going to be drinking lots of water. The nurse is so nice, by the way. She's so kind. And she brought me this little straw. I've been talking to her about where she's from in Ireland and her accent is just making me feel so soothed. I love Irish accent, Fizz fam. Comment down below if any of you from Ireland. And we have actually been thinking about doing some more trips in the UK and Ireland, um, just because we've never really explored much of the UK, like we're always in England. So if there's any good places in Ireland or Northern Ireland that you'd like us, that you'd recommend us to see if it's comment down below. I'm just gonna try and drink this. Mm. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Oh, that's lovely. I have been having fluids um, in an IV, but they're not as good. Oh, sorry, this feels so weird talking to you with that one. I've been having the fluids in the IV and that's been keeping me hydrated, but this is the first lot of like proper water. Mm. And the water is from Harrogate, which is in Yorkshire, which is actually a little, it's a British spa town. I really want to go there one day as well, actually. There's loads of places in the UK I'm so excited to see. It's like a really nice little Victorian town. Sounds so good. Yeah, I think I'm probably a tiny little bit high still with residual left leftover bits of painkillers and the painkillers they're giving me now. So if I'm just going on and on for this I'm really sorry. I don't really know what I'm saying. I think I'm just really relieved that it's all over now. But yeah, so I'm just, Darren's going back home and the later one he's gonna be picking me up in the Tesla. I'm a bit, bit nervous about leaving just because I have to leave this really comfortable bed and I don't know how sore I'm gonna feel, but I'm gonna be brave, I'm gonna do this. And then I get to go home back to my comfy bed but I'm probably, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to see the kids. They're probably going to be in bed themselves. So tomorrow I'm probably going to get to see them. And I do actually really, really miss them. I don't know if I said to this to you, Fizzfam. I can't remember. But like, as I was going to sleep, I was just thinking of Darren and the kids and how much I loved them. And I had this huge overfeeling, like, sense of emotion and love for them. Like, I feel like crying about it right now. But I just kept saying, I love Darren. I love Mia. I love Sienna. And like, they really helped me. And yeah. 
I just love them so much and I love you too Fizz fam thank you for always being there for me and supporting me and you've followed me on so many journeys like pregnancies even my bikini company and my fitness comps there's been so many when we got engaged when we got married when we've moved to new countries around the world like some really big things and it really means so much to have you there to share this with the reason I wanted to make this video today is because obviously it's going to impact me over the next few weeks my energy levels so obviously like if I had operation you're going to be wondering what's up with me but also hopefully create a bit of awareness of like the implications of having surgery and also that a fat transfer can exist as well which is a good option for people but to be honest this fam having surgery is really serious and i just would not take it lightly it's a big deal like i consider myself a really strong person but today has been really hard like i've been holding it in all day i'm kind of really glad it's over <laughs> thank you this fam i'm now gonna i think i actually i'm gonna put island boys productions on and try and laugh um, if you don't know what it is, it's just a basic group of like, um, they're probably young men who just do loads of silly pranks and it's such an escape for me. I find it really funny. I, do I don't know if like many other women my age watch them, but it I find it really funny. It's just so lighthearted, but um, I also do love watching Hopescope. I really find her videos good and, and I like watching Jordan Matter with the girls, that's good. I like watching Family Freedom, the other videos do I like watching, I don't know, I'm gonna have a look on YouTube. Anyway, Fizz fam, I love you. See you in a minute. Well, see you in a little while. Look what just got brought to me, Fizz fam. I've got like a, look at this. I've got like an afternoon tea. They've made me a soup, I've got fruit salad, I've got loads of sarnies and some tea. Also, Fizz fam, I just got sent this really cute pic of the kids. Look at them eating their dinner. Oh, I miss them so much. Hi. Hi, Hi Kara. You okay? Have you been a good boy? Uh -huh. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi, you guys. You got you so some presents. You got you some presents. Okay. Am I first? Yeah, you should yeah. go first. Hey. Oh! Like a goodie bag to keep you going. Goodie bag? Oh. And then they've got this for you. Oh, thank you, Karma. Team Mum. For someone special. I like the little 3D parts and the little butterflies. Thank you, Karma. That's so nice. You're welcome. Oh, there's a little booklet here. Is that a little notepad? Yeah. Ah, oh, Pokemon cards. Wow. Some sellotape. Mm -hmm. A little sharpener. Oh, some money. And a pencil. Oh, wow, this looks so fun. How Mom. cute is this for this fan? That is so sweet. Thank you. And I went to a shop and I got you some things. Unfortunately, they didn't have the coconut water that you like, but I got you a little magazine. Oh, Harper's Bazaar. This looks good. Oh, I've literally nice. just got a magazine because I love the smell of them. Thank you, nice Sienna. Time. You're welcome. And then I've got you. you a little chocolate bar. Wow, I actually fancy some chocolate on bar. Fizz fam, have you tried this before? This is delicious. It's my favourite vegan Sienna's chocolate. Sienna's got another thing, for you. Oh. No, I haven't. It's just a receipt. Oh, thank you, Sienna. <laughs> You're thank welcome. you. This is what Sienna, a lovely little treat. Sienna's got another thing. I am actually really enjoying getting to sit yeah. in bed, Fizz fam, and rest. But like, I don't ever get to sit in bed. Sienna's got another thing. But I feel guilty, Darren. Thank you for helping me. Don't feel guilty. It's nice. We like looking yeah. after you. Sienna! Sienna's got another thing for you! Careful, Mummy's a bit Mummy's a bit sore. I've done basically fizz from I've woken up and it feel like I, it feels like I've slept in the sofa. Oh, it's really sore. Oh, I've done basically fizz from I've woken up and it feel like it feels like I've slept in the splits all night or I've just gone to the gym and I listened to our mantra of the day, go big or go home. So I will literally went big careful, in the gym. Careful. That's what it feels like. I've got the really, really sore muscles. You can't climb over But like energy wise, those are really go good. Around. When you've got a boy. Ah! Kawa! Careful. This is the thing when you where if you're a mum and you've had like surgery and you don't feel well, if you've got boys, that's one thing you've got to be careful of. The girls listen, the girls know, don't you? The boys. Thank you. Um, um, Karma lent it to me. Yeah. But yeah, I feel really good for this I've woken up. I feel, mm. I feel very bruised, but I feel really good. Like I feel like strong. Yeah. And these guys are helping Wish. me out. Darren's fed me breakfast. Wish. You've got me a nice little treat. Mm. I just Careful, got don't, nice don't and gently, Kara. My legs feel a bit sore. I feel like I've done the split. Uh, do I need some? Uh, Maybe not. <laughs> Girls, like, do you want some of this? I'll have some. Um, Georgie hasn't been in the submarine yet, though, have no. you? I'm going to do that later. I just wanted the room to warm up first. It's freezing in here because you obviously have to get unchanged to go in there. And it actually, because it's pure oxygen, it is quite cold. Maybe, well, but it's starting to warm up now. Uh, but it's actually a nice sunny day as well, yeah, isn't it? It is. It's a lovely day. I feel really positive. Yesterday I did feel very overwhelmed, but today I do feel a lot better. 
and um, thank you guys and thank you Fizz fam for all of your kind messages on Instagram and looking at all court. the comments and messages. It says T Mum. But really funny, I don't know if I told you Fizz fam, but Mia messaged me and she said that she's been Mom, doing loads of skiing and she said that her legs are really hurting. So I said me and her both got like the same hungry. legs. I'm <laughs> hungry. We're going to have some of this later, okay? All right, okay, let's have some now then. <laughs> Why not? That I know. was an easy persuasion uh, though, wasn't be it? Be a bit careful, you're nipping into my hips. <laughs> there you go. Thank there you, you go. Do you want a bit? No, go I'm on. fine. Can you have a little bit? Go oh, on. You. Do you want a little bit of fist fam and dower? Go on. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> no, no, no. There you go. There you go, down. I just well. liked it when you do the eating sound effects. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is nice. Look at you, my family. Oh, you can have some. Yeah, you're making me feel very, you're making me feel so nervous. You can have some. Thank you. Thank you. Not, not anymore, because I think you're going to have to, I don't, Dad, I do Dad won't know what to do with you if you have any more. Chocolate's got a lot of energy in it, and you, you have so much energy, which is a good thing. But if you have too much chocolate, it might, well, I feel sorry for Dad. <laughs>